Hey everyone, Ash here, and there is still a few things left I can look at in the lab. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what, what, if anything, that did, but, uh, It's a picture of Edna. Since Emmett's got the Hotspur, I guess she's supposed to provoke a positive response. Yeah, positive. However, there is something I need to do. I think I need to do back at the expo, so for now we'll leave the lab and head back there. Hmm. What? I was just thinking about the future. All that talk about Edna's grandfather made me realize something. Please let it be something about lightning. Life can be short. Sometimes brutally so. So why not seize the day and grab your happiness while you can? I'm not sure I like where this is going. I was saving this for next Valentine's Day, but why should I? I know what I want. And no. I'm gonna ask Edna to marry me. Right now. No. Oh, right, right. I'll wait until tonight at the expo. It'll be much more romantic that way. Just think. By this time tomorrow, Edna and I will be engaged and will be the toast of the scientific community. And I owe it all to you. You're welcome. Yeah, good job there, Marty. Hey, Emmett, I've got to go out for a while. I thought Edna sent you to make sure I wasn't getting distracted. Oh, you'll be fine. Ah, uh, yes. Now, I had a look at the hints, and and there was something I needed to do here at the uh, Hill Valley uh, Hill Valley of the Past diorama. Press button to experience Hill Valley's primeval past. Okay, if this dinosaur is called a Tannosaurus, I'm gonna... Oh. <laughs> All right, let's press the uh, let's press the button then. Times may be hard in Hill Valley, but our present worries fade into insignificance when we ponder our Pleistocene past. Is the wolf knocking at your door? Be glad he's not a Tyrannosaurus, king of the ancient lizards. And if you find yourself drowning in debt, well, you could be drowning in something a whole lot stickier, like the Hill Valley Tar Pit. This peek into the distant past is brought to you by Lamont's House of Urban, reminding you, fur is forever. Speaking of which... Fur is donated by Lamont's House of Urban. At least they're going to a good cause. Stop tighten this tar. Now, yes, which I think I'm supposed to use this on this for some reason. It's a good thing I did this before I missed 12 hour time limit. The cleanser might have dissolved the fur. Let's slip out of those furs, shall we? I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to be doing with this. If Jen and I ever strike it big, we're never wrapping these things around our necks. <laughs> yeah, that, that makes sense. Now, I hate to say it, but I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing now. Okay. Let's hit the street and head back to the lab, then. And Harry, what? I'm at my wit's end. My portable anti-stick anti-stain formula has disappeared. Can't you make more? There's no time. Don't worry. I'm sure it'll turn up soon. Good. There's no way in God's green earth that I'm heading to that expo without it. Now, for some reason... Hey, Anna. Got a sec? Why, yes. In fact, I've got several. Hey, how my mind map test get activated? So, you and Edna, 
How serious are you guys? Well, we both enjoy a good joke every now and then, but I'd say on the whole we're fairly serious people. Why do you ask? No, no. What I mean is, how serious is your relationship? Oh, well, as a scientist, I can't state this with 100% confidence, but I'm provisionally certain that I'm head over heels in love. Really? With Edna? What can I say? She's my muse. In the weeks since we've been courting, she's given me so many wonderful ideas. You sure Edna's the right woman for you? What do you mean? Don't you think she's a little controlling? Controlling? Edna? No, 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 no. She's just giving me a little much needed guidance. Before I met her, I was such a flippity gibbet, always getting distracted by the slightest stray idea. But now, thanks to Edna, I stay focused on the task in front of me, like a narrow band stream of stimulated photon emissions. Focus! Isn't she a little cold? Don't let the school marm exterior fool you, buddy. Edna's got enough warmth to raise a liter of water from zero to a hundred degrees centigrade. You know what I mean? I kind of wish I didn't. I don't know. I, I just think Edna might be a little dangerous. Oh, I agree. You do? Like all independent women, she's a danger to the patriarchal status quo. That's one of the things I love about her. It shakes things up. You have no idea. I just think you should be careful, that's all. Thanks for the concern, but I'll be fine. Um. Is all this new stuff what you're showing off at the expo? Yes, it's our mental alignment meter. Mental alignment meter? I thought you were working on some sort of rocket car. Uh, the rocket propulsion system was far too unreliable, as that incident with Einstein proved. By the way, whatever happened to Einstein? I wish I knew. Anyway, I started tinkering with an alternate method of propulsion, but that was before things started heating up with Edna. Our conversations about the possibilities of applying technology to social ills pushed my research in a whole new direction! What's a mental alignment meter? It's the most revolutionary piece of technology since the cotton gin. What does it do? It reads and interprets the subconscious desires of the human mind. Why would you want to probe people's minds? Why wouldn't you? Imagine being able to diagnose mental disorders with a flick of a switch, or detect the truthfulness of courtroom testimony merely by connecting a witness to a small portable device. The machine does all that? Not yet. Frankly, right now the whole thing's just a gussied up potentiometer. But with years of refinements and a whole lot of investors, the MAM will be able to identify countless psychosis and neurosis, alcoholism, acrophobia, edible complexes. And? And then we can set about curing them, of course. Of course. Of course. Yeah, of course. Anyway. anyway. Uh, I still don't think Edna's right for you. Oh, and who is she right for? You? Me? No way. Relax. I'm just yanking your tibia. Can you make a mind map of yourself? Of course. Take a look. Edna's right. You are a model citizen. At least as far as my invention's concerned. Confidentially, this whole enterprise is a little light on the hard science and a little heavy on the smoke and mirrors. Can you tell me how this mental alignment meter works again? Of course. Now, pay attention. Subjects put on the mind mapping helmet which I activate with this radio switch. Check. The subject is then exposed to a series of visual stimuli provoking positive, negative, or indifferent reactions that are recorded by the mind map printer. Right. Once a mind map is completed, it can be inserted into the mental alignment meter to pronounce judgment on the subject's mental state. Okay. I think I got it. Okay. Apparently, uh, apparently there's something that I'm missing here. You look busy. You look busy. We talk later. Sure thing. Let me have a look at those hints again.
Okay. Hmm. Still not exactly sure, but but I think we'll have to turn this on and then use the objects around us. Use the objects around us. That's all I can think of. But I will save that for next time. Later.